part three of the Buzz Bubble with Mike Sheldon, CEO of Deutsche LA. Now back to our host, Kevin Kelly, on the Buzz Bubble. Uh, you mentioned experiential, which the word is thrown around so much. Um, and it means some different things to different people, and I know it's very important here for you guys today. What, what, what does it mean for you guys, and how, you know, what are some examples of some great experiential uh, work that's going on? Well, we started Experiential a year ago. When we got Volkswagen, it was on the staffing plan. And they kind of said, can you do this? And we said, yeah, we'll figure it out. And so we've like got that. six. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, hey, it's new I'm not the only one. That, yeah, uh, of course we can. We'll figure honest. it out. And uh, so we, we have 16 people doing it now. Wow. And we do about 300 different events for Volkswagen a year. So we're doing marathons and ride and drives and auto shows and all that stuff. And... Uh, and now we're doing a lot more of it for um, HTC. We're starting to do it for Snapple. And, you know, we'd always wanted to do experiential. And we'd always wanted to figure out how we could get this thing in a grocery store that would connect to that. But we'd have the ideas and then couldn't figure out how to actually get them done. Right, right. Now we actually it have takes people a lot of cooperation. Who know, it really does. And you also have to have experts in that, you know, producers who know who to call to get that thing into right. the grocery store. Right. Might be a good um, idea, but how do you get it? Yeah, exactly. And, and so now we have people who know how to pull that stuff off. If we want to do some event in LAX, up until a year ago, we didn't really know how to pull that off. You know, it would be an account person kind of trying to figure it out. Now we have people who have done it. I was going to say, is that part of that 16? Is it some of these kind of logistics people kind of going, all right, what are your ideas? Let me just figure out how to get oh, this. Yeah. And, and I like the, the grocery store idea. How to get it in and the, the cool thing store is, and where yeah. we can put it and where the they harder, won't. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, no. the, um, the harder the task, the more bizarre the task, the more they go, oh, yeah, let me figure that out. Yeah, yeah, let's work yeah. on this. I can get Dave Matthews. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah, what do you need? I can get Maroon 5. You want him in his underwear and uh, <laughs> right. walk down aisle 5 of the grocery store? But, and that's also you know, part of the business we talked about digital and that's all new news all new toys to play with same as with experiential you know putting stuff out there in the world and making it happen and seeing it show up and then being able to film it and create you know and document it and uh, it just it adds to the, the flavor of this business you know I think everybody gets into this business because it's kind of a buzz and it's new and it's good for you know us short attention span <laughs> human beings exactly it's now kind of gone to an even higher level with all the new stuff we get to do so everybody knows I, I love to talk about agency culture. Um, we were at New York, Deutsche New York last season, now we're here. Uh, maybe a little about the culture in general, and maybe a little about what's different on this coast as opposed to the other coast. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of two separate agencies. I, on one hand, we're very much the same in terms of just kind of uh, a little bit countercultural, a, a, a little bit sort of work in a very fearless way. Uh, that we kind of do our own thing. We're part of a holding company, but we don't really, you know, that's not a big part of our culture. We're just kind of uh, us kids trying to figure it out every day. Um, but I think, you know, LA is kind of reflective of what makes LA LA relative to New York. We're a little more laid back, a little bit more, um, I don't know, user friendly, I suppose. Not that they're not, but, you know, there's, a little, uh, there's an LA intensity line. there. And uh, that's, a, that's a New York, L.A. thing. There's nobody to yeah. <laughs> apologize to for it's, that. It's very it's real. It's the way it is. And, and you know, I like to kind of talk about this as a demanding family. You know, we're super demanding. We're super driven. And, boy, when, you know, when we get to new business, we will do anything, you know, it, it takes to win. And we'll throw everything we got at it. And we'll work the nights. And we'll work the weekends. And we'll give up the anniversaries and holidays. Yeah. Um, but it's also a family. It's also a place where... It's not fear-based at all. People are here because they enjoy being here. Uh, we have a culture that, that of uh, people that care about each other, and we do a lot of give back uh, things all the time. And you and know, Chad I was giving us some insight about that. And it, yeah. They gave us the tour and, and, and about the people and the do anything attitude and what some of the examples of stuff we've gone through for pitches. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, new business is very much part of our culture. We are a growth machine. We are here. To grow, and that's not just to be selfish or make more money. It's when you're growing, everybody feels better. You know, when you sure. when you are introducing new clients into the system, and you have people sort of um, people are then able to get raises and promotions and change departments if they want to, and get spot bonuses and all those things that you love about working someplace. 
happens because of growth. So growth helps even existing clients because you're able to have kind of the best people all gravitate towards the places that are that are happening that are that are right. I'm sure all your clients are benefiting from things like digital in-house, experiential right. right here. And without growth, that wouldn't have been able to happen. So yeah, that, exactly. that's, that's a great model. Um, and I think what's your total bodies here now? I think uh, uh, 420. Wow. And growing plus freelance, which, which is another 420. Uh, kidding. Oh, just, just seems like, like it. Just when I have to pay the bills every yeah, month. Yeah, right. It seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the growth is great. I, Chad mentioned he showed us one of the rooms. This used to be a, a research room, and there's like 16 people in there. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, game we had the okay. PlayStation game room, which is like this really cool gamers lounge. We had, yeah. you know, Nintendos and, and, and Xbox 360s and PlayStations and all the competitive research rooms. And now it's just <laughs> filled with 16 people. But we're, we're building out another 10,000 square feet. Wow. We have 60 open positions right now. Um, so even when that's all built out, we'll still be out of space. So I'm, I, I might have to put mobile homes in the parking lot or something like LA School That'll work. Um, but growth is good. You know, it, it's good for our business, good for our clients, good for our people. And, you know, yeah, we just love It's nice business. that you talk about it as part of your culture. That's somewhat unique. You know, I've been a lot of places and, and, and got to know the culture. But to have, and I know it from my own agency, when we're growing, Everything is positive. There's forward motion. Everybody feels good, you know. Yeah. And part of something that is got this forward momentum. So uh, you see it here. You can tell when you're walking around. Yeah. Last year we actually took a, um, most of the year off. You know, we hired 191 people for a Volkswagen and HTC. We won both those in late 2009. So it's growth, but it's also kind of smart growth. Uh, we just couldn't we couldn't handle the business pitch last year. We had too much existing clients to. to you know, attention to. We did win Diamond Foods at the end of the year, which is uh, kettle chips and pop Yeah, no, we saw that. Are, and great brands. Uh, wonderful, wonderful clients. But we turned down about $700 million. We turned down Dell. We turned down um, Hardee's, Carl's, Arby's, and just recently we turned down Sears. Because we don't want to, we want to grow with the kind of clients we want to grow with. It's right, just, right. You know, oh, so. absolutely. Speaking of growth, uh, Mark Hunter is the new chief creative officer here. Uh, maybe a little, I know we just got started uh, yeah, recently. A yeah. um, little, little about what you're looking to see from Mark and, and what was behind that decision. Well, first we searched time low. I mean, you know, half the people, creative directors watching this will have <laughs> I've said hi to. But, um, you know, we, we really looked all over and, and wanted to find the right fit. and. You know, our work, I think, as an agency has been really, really good. And then every once in a while, we have this brilliance. And I think most agencies fall into that camp. We want more brilliance. And, right. and Mark's the kind of guy that, you know, comes from BBH and Wyden and Shiat and really incredible pedigree, um, but also has that sort of Deutsch user-friendliness. He's a good guy, you know, yeah. he's not an asshole. And we have a strict... <laughs> Do we have some of those in this We business? have a strict no-assholes policy That's here. cool. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so he, he's been a wonderful addition. He comes in and, you know, Eric Hirschberg and I ran this thing for a long time, for 15 years, and we were together for 14 years before that, or four years before that. So we're like an old married couple. We do everything, that <laughs> you know. We didn't even have to talk and we had to have conversations. We knew each other so well. He brings in a new flavor, which is really fun to just, you know, a new look at the business right. and, um, and, and the work and the accounts. And, uh, I'm just, I couldn't be more excited. Fantastic. Well, let's move on to get to, get to know Michael. <coughs> um, ask a few questions and learn a little about you. Uh, one little bird named Bonnie told me, I um, heard every summer that you take your son on a plane trip, you're a pilot, and you guys kind of yeah. go and maybe don't even have a plan, you just kind of take off. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> and we've flown to New York and Atlanta and Detroit, and, wow. and we will set Isn't off. Little, and puddle jump flights, you see. Yeah, we got a little four-seater airplane, and, and but that's and a big flight. Wow! You know, and the best part about it is not having a plan. We don't file a flight plan. We just go, and uh, we'll show up in Beatrice, Nebraska. You know, the home of the largest ball of yarn, or oh, okay, the fuck thing is, <laughs> and uh, and we just—it's just so fun because you get there and you're in this funky little town and. You get you're that guy that flew in on a plane too. Like, yeah. You're like, hey, you know, what and you are get we to doing this here? Private airport, and they throw you the keys to their 
Buick 225, <laughs> and you drive. Like, they let you use your car, wow. their car, and then you drive to the Holiday Inn with the indoor pool and play dodgeball in the pool. Like, and you can't make that stuff. Like, no, you can't right. plan that. You, you don't plan want it. to plan that. You just some, and then you get grounded for three days in the city because of weather. Right. right. And so you have to figure yeah, out and it's something day, to do. <laughs> and uh, it's just been. It, so now, how old fun. is that? How old are your kids? Uh, I got a boy who's 14 and a daughter who's nine. Okay. Yeah, I got a 14 and 11 and a five. But uh, so it's the the 14 year old just pop up in the plane, the plane with and yeah, take off. Fantastic. Yeah. That's it for part three of our Buzz Bubble interview with Mike Sheldon. Tune in next week for part four. Burger King or McDonald's? Oh, uh, God, neither. Um, that's a, that's unless a common we're pitching answer. it, you know, then <laughs> it would be McDonald's for sure. Uh, martinis, wine, or beer? Yes, please. <laughs> next week on the Buzz Bubble. Buzz Bubble.